Um be out and day. Bappy ball. Ne na in tewat or a vinang get pe. Had a hundred bar or da in or gap over in ne where mona wink or in the way out can man in wa. Had a hundred bar. Na number wink we are on more. Had a good dun dung or come. He or his jumper. Never the main now in bit all in get it he a meeting. He did his jump all that Unawa. How when did be cut boy and how when did be his jump boy and he or Kunda by keep on now the poor and the net somewhere in get it he a meeting. Welcome to the land of the Teo Pueblos. We're happy that you came to see what we have to say, and I also want to give respect to Ogap Owe, the Tewa village that is here. It's not in showing anymore because Santa Fe is built on top of it now, but this is Ogap Owe for us Tewa people. This particular piece was used to carry water in, and so that's the way I want to share it. Until this day, many of us who work with pottery still make functional pieces for use in our own communities or the neighboring communities around us. This piece obviously has carried a lot of water. I feel like I can tell that by the, the hand marks. Over time, the oil from the body and the hand from your hands have taken away the, the finish. It's still smooth, but some of the color has come out. It's not so smooth and even now, like many of us make our pottery, we make it so fine. But what I love about this piece is that there's still the the obviousness that it was handmade, not only from the outside can I feel it, but I also feel it on the inside. The piece became black by a process called reduction firing. And reduction firing means at some point in the process of the firing of the pottery, you smother the fire and it uh, converts it to a black color. And this, of course, was hand-built. Obviously, all of it is hand-coiled. You can feel it, and you can take a look at the symmetry as you move the pot around, and it's not completely symmetrical. And for me, that's the beauty of a lot of the work. Sometimes people look at pieces and they're so amazed that they see such great symmetry in the work that I've been asked about my work, is this done in a wheel? And no, they're not. But if you look carefully, just turn them and move them, you can see that they're moving, they're alive. You know, they're not perfect because it was not really intended to be that way. And in reality, nothing is perfect. They carry their own essence because when they're made, whoever is making them, the breath is given to them to make them alive. And just like this wonderful collection room that we're in, as I walked in, I could just feel the presence of many of the pieces here because in our view and our understanding, they are alive. And even if they're here in the storage vault like this, they still have an essence to them.